All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We're back today with uh, patch 13, or sorry, 14.3. Notes, my dyslexia popped up there for a second. Uh, <laughs> what's up, Drew? How you doing? Doing pretty good. Uh, we almost didn't find these patch notes, so. They yeah, were, they're kind of difficult were, to find, but Drew found it for they us. They were hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Hidden. We did it for you, so yeah. we, we can do it, yeah. Six hours ago as of recording, so there you go. Um, very fresh. Um, so it looks like nothing much there. We've got a lot of different changes, though. Uh, lots of Heaven Scale skins as well. That's kind of interesting. Oh, cool. But yeah, all right, let's get into it. Uh, Vanguard. That looks like it's it's happening. Oh, wait. Pushing it back to uh, 14. Okay, so it's going to be like four, next, 14, five. next patch, kind of. All right, interesting. Yeah. And then the minimum spec update was... Uh, we're not we're not doing um, Windows 7, 8, or 8.1 at uh, February 21st, which will be Fatchy 14.4. But just kind of giving you a little head up, heads up, I guess. Um, yep, yep, yep. You want to start off, or should I? Yeah, I can start off. A really in Soul. Um, <laughs> he uh, he's old news, old news dragon. Now that Smolder's out. Yeah. Um, yeah. But let's see, let's see what they did with him. Let's see, they changed a lot. So, uh, the Q is getting. Um, ooh, I feel wow. like this is a this is a buff. I yeah. feel like, even though, yeah, like the mana costs are down across the board. So it was forty five to sixty five, and now it's thirty to fifty. Um, yeah, based that's on big. that's like how it goes up. But that second one, I feel like is pretty big too because yeah. you're gaining triple the stacks per burst on a champion. Yep. Um, and this guy lives and dies by stacks, so yeah, that's crazy. That that's gonna be pretty big, I feel like. So um, Palafox who he buff. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep. Uh, w Astral Flight. Uh, mana costs are way down on this too. Oh, wow, so yeah. eighty to hundred to fifty to seventy. So way less mana. Uh, the cooldowns actually down quite a bit as well. So twenty two oh. at rank one to fifteen, Dang. and then at max rank, it's down. 16 to 11 so big cooldown reduction as well That's and then uh i actually did not know that it did this but it buffed this too so apparently when you use your q while flying it did bonus damage oh um, yeah that's right yeah yeah and i didn't know that but it does <laughs> even more bonus damage now so yeah, uh nice little bit. buff there nice and then let's see e singularity um okay so maybe this is them trying to balance it a bit <laughs> balance them a bit better because they've they've reduced the stacks you're gaining from the e on pretty much everything so it looks like you got five per champion or epic monster now you're only getting two and uh you used to get three on your cannon minions and large monsters and now you're getting two so it's okay. just a uniform two across the board um so just making but you... his e not like the best ability yet. <laughs> yeah it's like Good. more q is going to be a lot more important was stacking, I guess, then. E is still important, but Q is equally as important, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Pretty cool. Uh, uh, buff overall, though. I feel like it's a pretty pretty nice buff. Yeah, I feel like this is a really big buff. Um, I wonder if we'll see him a little bit more. Um, I think we probably will, even if it's just like placebo, because they see him in patch notes, and they're like, oh, wow. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty big for him, I think. Um all right, cool. Uh, Azir, huge change here. Uh, base health region <laughs> going from seven to five. So um, he's just getting a little bit of less durable um, in lane, I guess, mostly. But All right. <laughs> cool. Yeah, there you go. Brand, um, who actually he's been seen in the jungle a lot as well. Um, yep, yep. So it looks like they are nerfing his passive damage to monsters. Uh, by 20%. And then wow. Blaze no longer deals more than 2% max health on a single application. That's a bug fix, but yeah. um, I'm assuming it was dealing more damage than it should. So um, okay. that's also kind of a nerf. And then yeah. the Q damage is also a nerf. So it went down by 10 that does really damage much, at <laughs> every single rank. Yeah, I don't think most of his damage was ever on his Q, you really just use that for the stun, so. Yeah, um, pretty much. But, I mean, his clear might be slower. That 20% damage to monsters is 
probably. Yeah, that's definitely gonna hit him hard, for sure. It's gonna it's gonna slow him down uh, a little bit there. I feel like. So we might see Brand not return to jungle for a little bit, uh, at least in pro, but we'll see. Definitely some hits there, but I don't think the Q is anything to worry about, honestly. No, Pretty much nothing. no, I don't think so at all. Yeah. All right, uh, quirky. We got passive. The special delivery package uh, duration is now 45 seconds instead of 60. So oh. it looks like they're nerfing him a little bit here. Um, and the W Valkyrie is the W actual cooldown at late game is going to be down by four seconds, um, but early game it's the pretty much the exact same. And then um, mana cost down by 20. I think that's good. Uh, damage per second is getting buffed in the AP ratio by 20% more. So that's per second as well. So pretty pretty nice little bump there. Just for AP though. Um, and then the R muscle yeah. missile barrage is uh, removed the item interaction adjustments, which was malignance no malignance will no longer count towards Eclipse's passive. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, it was like a weird um, interaction where if you hit one R rocket and then it proc malignance, then Eclipse would like you could you could stack and then like pop. It was just like a really a, you didn't there wasn't a lot of counterplay. Like yeah, you could okay. just Basically, pop those passives with like one or two rockets, and yeah, it was it was pretty gross. So yeah, um, that's weird. All right, interesting, I guess. <laughs> Huh. Yeah. Um, I think they are fine. I think it's a good buff, roughly. I mean, if you want to call it a buff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's good. Uh, this guy could use a nerf, so let's see. Um, oh yeah, we overshot the buffs to Ezreal in fourteen two. Agree, agree. <laughs> no kidding. Um, so <laughs> they are, they're tuning down the scaling on his Q. Not too much, just looks like what five percent ad yeah um so i don't i don't know that that's really gonna nerf him all that much um and then the true shot barrage they are taking the flat damage down by 25 damage and then the scaling down by 20 um honestly the like that he'll notice it but i feel like his qw damage combo in lane is what's crazy abusive and um, yeah. I don't think the five percent nerf is gonna really knock him. It definitely like, hits him a little bit, but yeah, it, it shouldn't matter too much. I, I think people are still gonna pick him. I don't think I don't think it yeah. like, takes him out of out definitely of agree. Being, being good. For sure, for sure. All right, got Alawi up next. Uh, tentacle range on her passive is going from eight hundred to nine twenty five, so one hundred twenty five bonus uh, range added on. That's pretty pretty nice. Oh wow. Um, and then, yeah, tentacle damage is getting nerfed on the base damage and 5% hit off of the AD scaling as well. Um, so actually a little bit a little bit worse, especially late game. It's uh, 18 points so off. So less, slightly less damage, but they can hit you from further, further away. away. So, and it looks like yeah, they're doing this because of the old terrain was uh, easier to like, uh... but now she can't part, like get as many now so yeah that makes sense that, that kind of makes, makes sense. sense yeah all right i didn't even think about that cool all right and oh then... no here we go oh. no it was so fun while it lasted <laughs> um okay karma karma was uh crazy crazy strong yeah so um yeah this is i mean just objectively speaking this is probably what you needed to do to nerf her so they're taking the scaling down on her mantra Q. Mm -hmm. um, so it's down like 70% was just crazy. So it, you, like for context, I think it used to be like 30% before. Um, so they went it up to 70. They brought it down to 50% scaling now. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like they added... They added five uh... damage early, but every other level it's worse. Which is kind of yeah, weird. they're like playing around with the numbers a bit. So it's just overall, she's gonna do way less poke damage in lane. Yeah. Um, which I think is good, unless you like playing Karma like me, and then you're sad. But overall, I mean, I think just objectively, <laughs> it was probably needed because it was it was so gross. This is definitely a Riot classic as well, and I do kind of feel bad because it's it's another one of those buff a champion 
and then next patch nerf them I know. more than they were originally in my opinion like i I'm couldn't have sure. just uh so i couldn't have just like had this for a couple patches just a couple yeah it feels pretty bad but i think it's probably very fair it was quite quite op <laughs> yeah with malignants yeah, yeah. particularly yes but. <laughs> Hopefully she'll still be all right. We'll see how she does, but yeah. Definitely. It is it is worth noting, like her, they buffed in two patches ago. They they gave her seventy percent on her uh, mantra Q, yeah, and on her mantra E. So her her shield will still be like crazy strong. Um, That's fair. It just makes her less like damage oriented, I guess. Yeah. And I think they do want her to be like in a supportive role more than yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think so. especially yeah. top at least, but yeah. All right, uh, Lilia is up next. We have her passive Dream Laden Bow or Bow. Um, <clears throat> maximum health damage is going. The, only the scaling is going down by 0.25% AP. So, not too, too bad, but definitely hurts her a bit. Um, Q Blooming Blows is also getting nerfed by 20% AP scaling. So, uh, interesting. That one, the Q will hurt more than any. Uh, yeah, the Q will I feel bad because so. I think she, she, you can normally get a couple of those off in like a team fight. So yeah, for um, sure. Um, like if it goes long enough, like around an objective, you're you're using Q a, a bunch, and I feel like you normally hit multiple targets with it too. So yeah, and I think uh, it actually it deals more more damage, right? If it's the outer circle. I think. Yes, yeah, it has like that sweet sweet spot mechanic, like yeah. the same with uh like Aatrox. So um yeah, that will I feel like twenty percent off of that will will definitely hurt. Yep. That's I think it's good. I don't really like Lily being super strong and she I'm no, pretty I sure she's either. doing really well right now with uh uh what is it called? The two like um that omnivamp damage stacking da item. Yep. And, yeah, 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 yeah. and um, um yes. Leandries together, so Yeah, she is she is pretty strong with that. All right. Um, the other, the other big time strong AP jungler. Yes. I was saying Maokai. Yes. Um, but actually, I think I have a feeling. I feel he's weak. Uh, I don't know about what you think, but I, I don't think he's that strong in the jungle. Um, yeah. But he, he did feel really strong in support. The couple oh, games okay. I played against him. Um, but let me. I guess we'll see what they change here. So they're lowering the mana regen okay. um feels bad they are max health heal so he's gonna heal uh quite a bit uh based on level oh, yeah that's down that's down four to 12.8 based on level based on level so it doesn't have a oh uh, i guess Wait, it just doesn't have a base amount it doesn't have a flat what i think i think that's what it's yeah. saying Unless it's a it's typo. It's just based on. I think it. If 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 what it's saying is right, then it, there's no flat amount. It's just based on whatever level you are. I don't think that's too bad. This is not that much health. No. I mean, it's something. No, no, no. It's probably. Yeah, fine. so that's like. It basically doesn't change too much at all. Uh, Bramble much. Smash, the mana is oh, that's down. Nice. By a lot. Yeah, that does feel good. And the cooldown's down by about a full second at rank one. Yeah. And then through the early ranks, it's it's still down so that's good um it's nice this is probably a good change sapling toss the cooldown is now gonna go up early and then you have to get what is that um you have to get three, three points. points in it before yeah. it before it like evens out to what it used to be um and then you can use it more late game um but the mana costs are going up so you won't be able to just spam that like mm. crazy okay um probably good yeah and then Nature's Grasp cooldown on that is going up at rank one, equal at rank two, and then rank three it's down slightly. Huh. So interesting. Just maybe slightly late game focus there, but um, I think it's probably these fine. changes. So you have to be level sixteen. <laughs> yeah, you have to be level sixteen. I think these changes push him more. I don't know. I think they push him more into like. I hope he goes more like top lane. Laner is what I was gonna say. Like he's yeah. gonna be more annoying in like a laning sense because the cooldowns and like the mana costs are low, lower. Um, yeah, I could see him maybe top. That could be interesting. I would um, say so. Yeah, yeah. I do like the E change. The E was like 
felt very oppressive. So yeah, I think that's probably pretty fair. I I think that's that feels fair. Yep. Yep. All right, interesting. I think these are all fine. Hopefully, I do prefer him to be more of a top laner than a jungler anyway. But uh, Yeah, yeah, I actually do too. Yeah, we'll see, I guess. All right, and then Nidalee is up next. We got magic resistance growth going from 1.3 to 1.45 uh, per level, so that's a little bit of a buff there as well. Um, and then E Primal Surge, the maximum heal, or the minimum heal, rather, is uh, going up quite a bit, actually, in the flat. Um, and then maximum heal is double, still double the minimum. So this is actually quite a quite a nice buff. It's just a straight up buff, actually. Um, the heal's up a lot, base up by support in Italy. Support in Italy. Yeah, wow, interesting. And the AP ratio <laughs> also goes up quite a bit there as well. And then bonus bonus attack damage uh, going up by looks like ten percent every level as well, which is pretty pretty sick. Um, so yeah, wow, that's quite interesting. Yeah, I don't feel good about that. I don't, I don't I, see Italy almost ever, so that feels good. Yeah, I actually do like uh, her E being relatively powerful, as long as it's not like super crazy healing. But yeah, yeah this is good. Uh, Pike here, so Pike is getting uh, some more base armor up by two. Um, and it looks like they're editing a lot of his stuff. So Q is going to get the ratios up by 15% bonus AD. So it's up to 75, oh, wow. okay. um, which is nice. And then the mana cost on the Q is down at early ranks. Um, it's down by, it used to be 74, 78, 82. Now it's 70, 75, 80. It's very um, weird numbers. <laughs> Yeah, no, they're definitely weird numbers. Uh, I'm sure there's a reason behind them. But uh, the Q overall is a buff. Um, movement speed you get on the W um, is up slightly. Wow. Um, and the scaling, too. I didn't know that scaled with lethality. Interesting. Yeah, that's interesting, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, you find out all sorts of weird stuff. So apparently it's scaled yeah. with lethality, so it'll do even more. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the Phantom Undertow, his like dash that's a stun, yep. um, is a. The numbers are so weird. So it's down five damage at rank one. But then every and then it's every rank after that. It's just better. Yeah. This yeah. Is a... So wow. it's just better. Yeah. Yeah. There's all around um, buffing him. Yeah, I, I would say just like top to bottom. Um, such a high it's just an overall buff also. yeah 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 but like given the fact that he can like heal too with his yeah. health yeah it's it's yeah he'll That's be crazy. a pretty okay. pretty tanky guy in lane now yeah i'm surprised that surprised they're buffing him this much this is quite a bit i think yeah i, I didn't we'll think he see. necessarily needed like crazy yeah, amount of health, i don't but... think so i guess they said he's not doing that well but i'm yeah. i don't know but okay. All right. Uh, Ringar is up next. We got base health uh, is going down by 30 health, and then about half an auto attack's worth of damage, maybe. And then Q Savagery uh, bonus damage. Let's see what we got. So the base is the same, but the scaling with AD uh, was 0 to 20% AD. Now it's 0 to 15% AD. So getting quite a bit off of each level. About roughly 2.52 no yeah no 1.25 well it's i don't know it, every level it changes but yeah quite a bit off of the q damage scaling which is probably good um empowered bonus damage also is getting nerfed not by the base but by the uh ad scaling by 10 percent there so pretty nice hits to ringar i think that's probably fine he can be a pretty strong champion at times so there we go. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I am all for Rengar nerfs. Yeah. Um Shaco. What are they doing to Shaco? Um mana regen is down. And okay, so it gets less mana regeneration. Uh W his boxes uh now will cost less mana as you put points into it instead of flat 70. Hmm. Um, it does more bonus damage to monsters. Um, and apparently, uh, that's kind of funny. Apparently the grubs <laughs> were one-shotting the boxes 
um, but they won't do that anymore. Nice. Um, cool. Uh, uh, his E, the two shift poison, costing a bit more mana. And then let's see what they got on his alt. So poof, uh, Shaco's clone creates a orange poof when it snaps back to Shaco or teleports for any reason. Uh, the clone clock, Shaco's clone duration is now displayed on the HUD. That's probably pretty useful for Shaco players. And then bug fix, uh, his clone no longer loses its auto attack target when casting spells. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. I guess it'll make his jungling a bit easier, would be my guess. Because he does a little bit more damage with his boxes, and then uh, the grubs won't one-shot him. So um, I think it's probably a buff to the jungle, Shaco. (laughs) Definitely. Interesting. Okay. I think it's probably fine overall. Um, Shivana, we got Q Twin Bite, Empowered attack bonus damage is ap ratio is going up by 15 percent. okay don't know why we're doing that uh bonus attack speed uh is up by it looks like 10 percent every level on his on her q and then um w burnout bonus movement speed is going up by the ap ratio and it's uh, it was 0.8 percent ap and now it's 0.12 percent ap so they're buffing her ap for some reason even though it's the most strong version of the champion <laughs> yeah um, i'm uh, personally okay if they you know they didn't buff her yeah AP. i wish they'd be okay it, especially her e like i don't i'm not yes. worried about these being ap too much but if they could just nerf her e's ap ratio <laughs> that would be useful yeah. but it looks like they're they're doing this because uh they removed night harvester from the game looks like so mm, that was like her go-to one of her go-to items i guess uh, but i mean there's a season, lot of other, i think there's a lot of other good items yeah. too right so i don't know i don't think it's yeah probably good but okay um they they want to make sure the ap version remains viable i guess it does it is <laughs> it is viable i i am here to tell you it's viable <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh talia let's see q damage is going up um it was 50 to 130. Now it's 60 to 132. Um, <laughs> so the more points you get in it, the it, it doesn't really change that much. But 10 early, 10 damage early is kind of nice. Yeah. Um, and then E is having its cooldown just overall uh, decreased. So yeah. now even at rank one, it's the old rank four like five cool yeah down, 14 that's pretty seconds. nice so that's pretty nice. that means you could pretty much like put just a point into that and then not have to worry about it for quite some time probably yeah for sure uh probably good things overall but we'll see that yeah. might be op we'll have to see i guess yeah that might be that might be too spammable but i guess we'll see it's only two seconds so it's not the end of the world yeah. <laughs> uh timo q quality of life change the q blinding dart uh, quality light adjustment. Teemo Q blind now should now immediately apply to targets hit by the Q, preventing Teemo from taking damage from an auto attack after the blind has been applied. Blind duration should now also be consistent with the debuff duration above the target's health bar. Okay, that's good. I think this means a nerf to him very slightly, but I'm not sure because I'm trying to r- wrap this in my brain. Let's see. Preventing damage from taking should... damage from an auto attack after the blind has been applied. I think okay. it's a... I think it's good for Teemo. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> I think it's good for Teemo because I think what they're saying is like there was a there was like a lag from when the blind went off and then like the target that was blind could still auto and like hurt Teemo. Oh, okay. Before like the game realized that they should be blind, I That's think fair. is what it's saying. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Trundle. Yeah, he, he probably needs a little nerf here. Let's see. Um, no. Base health is down like uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit down. It's down to 650 now. And then his <laughs> Chomp uh, is losing 10 flat damage at every rank. Um, and then the scaling stays the same based on his AD. 
Um, so be less healthy and do less damage on his chomp. Um, At least I think he'll still damage. be fine. Yeah. yeah, it's flat damage, not scaling. So I think I think he'll still be fine. He just might not be as crazy as he was. Oh wait, no, no, no. This is the attack damage. This is not the damage on the ability. Oh no, oh. that does hurt quite a bit actually. Oh, hold on, hold on. That does hurt. I thought it was his like chomp damage. No, yeah, right. yeah, I thought that was the biggest damage. damage. No, yeah, oh, I hate this. That is actually a bigger deal then. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna. He, he's gonna lose quite a bit of damage then. Off of that sucks. Off I hate that. So yeah, I, I don't think this is necessary because Trundle is a very kiteable champion, and he has no right. gap closes, no dashes, and actually no stuns. So I don't think I think he can afford to be a little bit on the stronger side, if you want to call it that. Um, but I guess people are complaining too much, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, this sucks. I hate to see this. But anyways, yeah. I guess we'll move on for now. <laughs> uh, all right, Twitch E contaminate looks like a quality of life adjustment as well. If Twitch uses his E at the same time his po poison expires on an enemy, they will now take damage based on the number of stacks they had when the poison expired. This should result in the E cast being just being just slightly more forgiving. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice, good stuff for Twitch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I actually didn't know that. I wonder if I... Maybe that's why I was losing so many games on Twitch. Because I was pressing E <laughs> just slightly too late. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll say that. That was it. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wukong, we're getting um, a... Bonus range increase on his Q. Um, that's that's gonna be actually that's quite a quite a bit early. It goes from seventy five bonus range to one hundred and thirty five. Yeah, fifty. Um, so up by yeah up by a lot until you get to max rank when it it like evens out mm. to what it was, and then the bonus damage, <laughs> uh, the scaling's up by ten percent, bonus AD. Um, so Q, you can hit him from further away, and you do more damage. Probably. Fine. And then the Nimbus Strike is going down in cooldown by a full second at max rank. Um, but you have to get some points in it to really feel this, because the, yeah, the for uh, sure. rank one is exactly the same, and then. It's very, very similar all the way through until you get to like rank four and five. It looks like you, I guess rank three is nice too. It's down half a second, but um, yeah. it's good. I don't, I don't see too many Wukongs, but I, I feel like he's still pretty good. So I think this will just maybe remind people that he's still pretty good. And yeah, I do think those Q Q changes are are nice for sure. It looks like they they're mostly targeting the, the top lane here, which is, I think top yeah. lane Wukong is is pretty cool. I don't really like the jungle as much. Um, yeah, top but... lane and and the range on that Q, the bonus range will definitely help trade. Yeah, in the top lane like that'll 100%. feel really good. So, um, nice. Yeah, that's good. I I don't remember exactly, but I think back in the day, at least several years ago, you used to put quite a few points in E early, so it would help if you like max that out. But um, True. it's pretty marginal, I guess you could argue. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Right. If you max E, we'd have to ask a Wukong player because I guess yeah. if you max E, and now that the bonus range is so front loaded on the Q, you could probably put like just one point, a so point or two in the, the Q the and damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. I don't play enough Wukong to know, but yeah, yeah I feel like sure it could either. be pretty nice. It could be pretty nice. It's fair. All right, uh, Yorick, we got passive Shepherd of Souls. Um, the summon leash, leash range is going from 2,000 to 1,600. Okay. And then uh, uh, the new, they added something, return speed. So Yorick summons now gain bonus movement speed when, return to, when returning to Yorick. This movement speed bonus is based on the distance between, between Yorick and the summon. Okay. I think this is probably good. Um yeah, and yeah. then Q, last rights heal is going. Okay, so it was tinned. So the base is the same, doubled when below 50% HP. Um, uh, but now it's getting a missing health percentage uh, scaling. 
as well, so that's, that's pretty big, actually. And then it's halved versus non-champions, so you can't just farm it off in minions quite as easily. Um, but it does still oh, apply, so it's something, I guess. Um, and then the mana cost is going down by 5 as well. That's pretty big buff for his Q. Um, Alright, and then the E Morning Mist cast time is... That's the little thing he, he shoves out, or throws out, and it's like his own ranged yep. attack. Um, his cast time is now 0 0.25 seconds, which is a little bit of a, a little bit quicker. Uh, and then the R Eulogy of the Isles is ultimate. Uh, bonus damage when attacking Maiden's target uh, is now going to be a little bit nerfed on the maximum health. Um, it used to be capped at 100, 200, and 300 depending on the ranked versus monster. Now it's capped at 100 at all rank. All ranks, and then it says uh, had a no cooldown on this. Uh, it, so it used to have a two second cooldown on the max of health when uh, attacking the maiden's target, but now it looks like there's I no think cooldown it on it. Might so be... I think that's better. Do you think it's a buff? I think it's better. Yeah. I think it's better, just not in the jungle, maybe. Yeah, not in the not jungle, sure. but yeah, I feel like now that it's like a constant damage buff to the same target, that that feels like it's better. Yeah. I think it's a little better. I guess it depends on maybe your auto attack speed, but I think it's still overall better. So okay, yeah, just like basically straight up you buffs to York. I I could argue this is a little bit of a nerf, and you can maybe argue this is a nerf, but uh, I think overall it's pretty much buffs across the board, yeah. which is kind of scary because I th I thought he was already pretty strong overall, but uh, okay, interesting. Zeri, I don't see too many Zeris these days, so. <laughs> Um, Time for a buff. She's getting a <laughs> she's getting a base AD buff um, by three, and then I don't. Uh, her lightning crashes. The cooldown's going by um, by twenty seconds, then ten seconds, and then it'll be the same at max rank. Um, mm -hmm. That that just means she'll. Uh, I feel like. Feel like she'll be pretty. I'm I'm just trying to picture her with the new items, um, but I feel like her alt is like super important to her team fight, and the fact that it's down 20 seconds could be a pretty nice change. Yeah, oh, I don't know scary. if it's enough though because I think she needs too much scaling, like too much time to scale, and I think yeah, a lot of the champions yeah. in the game right now are like super quick to kill you. So That's like true. Uh, various solution type of stuff, they burst you real fast, and Zeri can't just one shot you with one auto. So that's a good point. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if this will be enough, but it, it might be. It's just hard to say. She's a very strange champion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who knows? <laughs> so, we'll have to see, I guess. Um, but yeah, all right. Ziggs base armor going up by three. Armor growth also going up by point two. Uh, every level as well, and then. W satchel charge cooldown is getting lowered. Okay, this is nice. I like this. Um, early levels down by four, and then at the end at level five, it's the same. Uh, Twelve seconds cooldown. So yeah, it's pretty good. I like this. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> Zyra. Um, let's see. Mana regen down. Wow. Base mana regen down by a good amount, like six. Uh, regeneration is up to point eight. Uh, her growth factor on mana regen. Um, and Q, which you do use, you do use Q quite a bit. Um, its mana cost is down by a lot. It's down from 70 to 55. Yeah, that's um, nice. So that'll be, that'll definitely help uh, support Zyra spam that. Cause she, I, I feel like, I feel like she's more mana hungry than like mid Zyra. Um, so probably yeah. that that'll feel pretty good. Um, the W where she grows the seeds, uh, seed charge progression on minion monster takedown. So you just it speeds up how quickly you can uh huh. produce seeds basically based I on. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I didn't actually know that mechanic either. So um, it's just faster. So nice. That one probably that one probably helps more jungle and. Like mid Zyra. Yeah, it looks like they... they don't really care about the support as much, but they want to buff the mid yeah. or like solo lane Zyra's. And they're saying yeah. since uh, she lost her ability haste and mana from like old Landry's and stuff, mm -hmm. that hurt uh, mm -hmm. 
everyone else except support pretty much because support Zyra doesn't need that much mana with her support. That's item. interesting. Yeah, I guess that's true. Now that yeah, if she she was a big Leandry's user, so I guess that could uh, that could make okay. sense with the mana. Okay, I think yeah, that's yeah. probably all very nice. Um, all right, items. Let's start her off. So Essence Reaver going attack damage from 55 to 60. Yeah, I think that's good. It's already a little bit weak in my opinion. So, all right, good. Yeah. Good stuff. Rage Blade. Um, they are changing the recipe um, to get rid of. Uh, what did they get rid of? They kept the Amp Tome, and now it's Recurve Bow and Pickaxe instead of Heartbound Axe and Longsword. Okay. Um, alrighty. Uh, attack damage and ability power up by five. So good. it'll just be a little bit stronger. I think that's good too. Yeah. yeah I, like good that. That. I like that. All right. And then Hole Breaker. Big, big bug fix. Uh, fixed a bug that caused the Hole Breaker buff to minions to unintentionally fall off when an allied champion is nearby. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, because they don't, they don't have the hunt alone thing on that anymore. Right, uh, right, right. Yeah, so. so I guess it was like a whatever. Must have been ah, a Canic Rooker. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, what did they do okay, to Okay, they're Kanic finally nerfing Rooker. it. Thank goodness. Let's see. Ma magic shield strength <laughs> down 2%. Okay. Shield refresh cooldown. Up by three seconds. Um, okay, that's fine. That doesn't really change a whole lot. This think. doesn't do anything. This item's still, <laughs> still broken. broken. <laughs> this is still a broken item. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, Rod of Ages up by 50 health and 100 mana uh, at the max, I guess. Oh, no, just the base, the base item. Good. I think that's good. Yeah, I think this is fine. Because there's like a lot of really high damage AP items too, yeah. um, so the tankier one could use some help. So yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, I like that as well. Uh, collector, attack damage down by five. That's it. Classic, That's um, classic nerf by five. Right. Yep, five damage <laughs> nerf. Okay, keep it, uh, keep it moving. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, you move Ghost Blade out of combat. Bonus movement speed was uh, forty. Looks like for everyone, um, but now mm -hmm. for ranged champions, it's now half of that, so twenty. And then active bonus movement speed is the same thing. It's now uh, fifteen percent instead of twenty percent for ranged champions only. Which I, I think it's um, probably fine. I think, nerf, it's, I think it's okay. I it might. I know like. I think I was seeing like MF Varus, like a lot of the lethality yeah. gin, like they rush this um, because they they like really wanted the move speed. Yep, yep. Um, so I think that's probably a good a good nerf. Yeah. yeah, I think it's good. All right, and the AP item and proc damage changes. Um, okay. Wall Let's text. see. Yep, bunch Arc. of stuff. Uh, um, base made Archange, Archangel staff, hundred gold cheaper. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, you will never say no to that. <laughs> yeah, I like gold. that. Yeah, I think it's good. All right, and then Echoes of Helia damage per shard down by ten, and then heal per shard up by twenty. That's good. A little more healing and less yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the alternator is just a flat sixty-five. Uh, wow! Damage that it provides. That's kind of a so big nerf. It's like, it's like only a nerf at all levels. So it's it's only gonna be a buff. Like, I guess maybe the first, very first parts of the game. Like maybe the first item that you buy, basically. Yeah. But then afterwards, it's just gonna be a like a straight up nerf. Okay. Much, interesting. Yeah. Because I think this is level. I want to say this is level one, also, right? I think I, that's what I'm assuming. So I don't know the so, exact. Yeah, like level per level. I'd be curious. I'd be curious. Like, I'm guessing, up. like, if you buy it <laughs> on your first or second back, it's probably better. But if you wait too long, it's just gonna be worse. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just straight up nerf. That's that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hextech Rocket Belt, supersonic damage down by 25 flat and 5% AP scaling, which is uh, pretty, pretty big, but all right. 
I think it's fine. Kraken Slayer is. Are they getting? Hold on, hold on. They just get rid of the scaling. Is it just like a flat okay, amount? Like it, yeah. Okay, so it used to do thirty-five to eighty-five plus sixty-five percent total AD plus sixty percent AP. Um, so it had those scaling ratios. Now it just does a hundred and forty to three hundred and ten damage but there's no scaling um i don't know i if... don't know the numbers on that but it sounds like yeah. it's better maybe i think it's better until late, late game maybe. it's like super late game maybe yeah. but i feel like as like maybe a first or second item it would be better would be my guess yeah seems like it yeah okay Which i okay. think it's good i, I like cracking uh, yeah, I do too. All right, Lich Bane. It's probably damage going uh, from 100% base AD to 75% base AD. So there, I think it used to be actually that for a little while. So that's so, um, yeah. okay, I guess. I mean, mostly AP people you build this, so it's not really a big deal. Honestly, it's not that much damage. Yeah. It's maybe like 25 damage. <laughs> it's not. Really, it's like half yeah. an auto attack. Um, we uh. Luden's companion, um, Luden's companion down 100 gold. Have you used this item? It, I've, I've, uh, hold on. E, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I tried it I out. It's once. pretty cool. It's I thought I did once, but I didn't. No. <laughs> oh, wait. I did. I used it on LeBlanc that. one time. I used it on LeBlanc one oh, okay, time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yep. 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 Um, so it costs 100 gold less, up nice. five ability power. And uh, uh, up five flat damage, but down four percent scaling damage. Um, on that piece, probably so, a nerf, honestly, but probably a nerf, but hurts a little bit less because it, it's down a hundred gold on cost. So yeah, okay. Yeah, that's true. All right, cool. Uh, Malignant's getting a uh, hundred gold cheaper, and damage per second is going down by one percent. AP scaling, and then magic resist shred is ten at all levels instead of six to twelve. So it's actually a buff early. Um, yeah. Just a slight nerf late. So yeah, yeah. pretty good. Okay. Nice. Uh, uh, the profane hydra. The cleave damage is up by ten for melee, and up by five for ranged mm -hmm. in terms of the AD scaling. And then on the cleave damage, and then the active uh, cleave damage is nerfed. Um, so active cleave damage down from 150 to 130 total AD, percent total AD. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. Probably yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I think only Ringar was using this anyway, right? So. Probably I'm trying to think. That's what I was trying to think of someone else that I've <laughs> ever seen buy that, and I think it's just Rengar. <laughs> Maybe like uh, you know what? Maybe Briar did it actually. Maybe sure. yeah, I feel like she would use it too actually. <laughs> uh, it's all fine though. I guess I like it. I think. Um, and then Static Shiv, total cost going down by three hundred. Wow, that's big. Um, as well as the combined cost, obviously matching that. And then Electroshock damage to champions is now ninety at all levels, instead of a hundred to one hundred eighty based on level. That's it is to champions. You're mostly using this just for wave clear, in my opinion. So, yeah, you could argue that this is fine, but that's definitely a big, pretty decent hit, <laughs> I'd say. Uh, it's nice that it's a lot cheaper, but yeah, yeah. if you're, it's not gonna do nearly as well against champions. So, yeah. I don't know. I think it's um... probably fine overall. I think I'd, I'd rather buy this more than I than I used to. So, <laughs> it's probably good. Um, the Storm Razor, the bolt damage <gasps> is at a hundred. No, are it they getting rid of no... this? Yeah, I think so. No this, scaling. This item's dead. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know about this. Uh, so this is a hundred bolt damage, and then the bolt bonus movement speed is up by half a second. Uh, wow. Yeah. A 
I feel like losing the scaling's pretty pretty rough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure no one buys this ever. No. <laughs> Unless you're trolling, I think. There's so yeah, many better items. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that sucks. Sucks a lot, actually. Alright, uh, Storm Surge, ability power going up by 5, Squall damage going up by... It was 100 to 200 based on level, and then now it's just a flat 140. Mm. Um, so, a little bit nerf late, a little bit buff early, but, uh, yeah. Interesting. Alright. Sundered Sky... They're just indexing more Bruiser, so the oh. attack damage is down by five, but the health is up a hundred and what hundred fifty? Yeah. So. Oh yeah, down ten. Yeah. So um, yeah, just probably better if you're trying to build slightly tankier early Bruiser. -y. I think that's fine. I feel like you could have gone away with like maybe minus five, like you were saying, instead of a ten. But yeah, see, I just had the. That's what they should have done. But... That's what they should have done. <laughs> Yeah. All right. I okay. actually like this a lot. I don't know if you've tried that out, but I, it's pretty cool. Pretty nice. I think I used it on. God, I don't remember. I used it on ARAM on somebody. That's okay. Try yeah. out all these items. Definitely. Yeah. All right. And then Titanic Hydra going up by 50 health. I like this. Active Titanic Crescent damage to primary target is now nerfed. It was 6% max health for melee, 3% for ranged, and now it's 4% max health for melee, 2% ranged. Kind of rough, but uh, it has been performing quite well lately, so I guess that kind of makes sense. I feel like it's that makes it kind of weak, though. I don't know. Yeah. Because it, it has a it... cooldown on the active for like 5, 10 to 15 seconds or something, so... You have to wait before you can get that again. So, you like, if you compare it to something like... Um, uh, Blade of the Ruined King. I mean, obviously very different items, but uh, that's doing like triple the damage of this. And it's yeah. every auto, not every like 10 to 15 seconds. So. I don't know. We'll have to see, I guess. Might, it might still be fine, but it hurts for sure. All right, we have um, Rift Herald. New Rift Herald is proving a bit too hard to control. True. <laughs> um... Let's see. First three seconds. It has very high maneuverability, and it will be easier to turn. Okay. So this is probably for all the people who drive, start driving it in the opposite direction that they should, and it's going to let them maybe, like, course correct before it's too late. Mm. Maybe. Every two seconds after Herald slowly... After Herald... Wait. Oh, every two seconds after, comma... Harold slowly yeah. <laughs> becomes less maneuverable as its, as its speed increases. Yes. So it gets a lot faster, maybe, than it did before. Okay. But you can't okay, turn it as much, okay. of course. Uh, if you crash into the wall, the Harold will deal damage equal of that of crashing into a tower. That's what it used to do. Too now, sure. if you crash into a wall, it will only deal 20% of the damage. Okay. So if okay. you mess up and hit a wall, it's not quite as punishing. That's good. Um, Don't know if I hear some in spawning has been sped up by one second. All right. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think uh, I think Rift Child's pretty bad. Interesting. Okay. I don't think he's... You, uh, you know what? I don't think he's so good. Or Boy. she. I guess it's a she. Because now I think she spawns... I have to look at I feel like every time she spawns that the plates are already gone. Or they're like about to be gone. Yeah, I think she spawns at like fourteen minutes, right? Or wait, no. And that's when the plates uh, wait, I feel like she? it's really close. Hold on, actually, yeah, I don't yeah. know. We'd have to look it up, but I feel like every time my team gets Rift Herald <laughs> and I'm like, Oh, let's get some plates, like there there are no plates. So, <laughs> yeah, um, I I feel the same actually, yeah. So I mean she's not I guess it's not bad, like it's so good to kill towers with, but I feel like before, this you got like a plates, ton of gold. Yeah. yeah, now now you don't. So I don't know. That's very fair. All right, and we got ARAM balance changes, the Mythic Shop rotation. Uh, grab your pristine Dragon Master Rakan before it pops. <laughs> uh, if you can do it in time, and then behavioral systems. After reporting for someone for verbal speech or hate speech, please pop up at the end of the game where you can easily block this player or change your chat settings. 
You can do do not show this again if you don't want this to pop um, each time. Then you can re-enable it later, increase the duration of most chat penalties. And then we got lots of bug fixes and quality of life changes. That's pretty cool. I like all this. Definitely check all of this stuff out because it is it can be very important once again. And then we got some cool skins. Uh, ooh. Ooh, a Janna skin. Let's go. Oh, that's cool. Got like a Chinese dragon or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I guess it's uh, maybe like the Wukong type of... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. What's it called? Lore. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Who and, else? Uh, Ezreal. Uh, Kaisa. What is that one? Diana. Diana. It does not look like Kaisa. <laughs> yeah, that is not Kaisa. Uh, and then we got Prestige Ezreal as well. There you go. Master Elite, you look actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah wow. Pointy that's cool. Fingernails, though. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's been fun, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.